before the show started, jeez. That is all I can say in French. I have to go to the bathroom, that's all I can say in French, but look at us. Uh, look who's in Paris now, hello. <laughs> that's just juice, FYI. Okay, oh, you don't have your beret on, now you're not in Paris anymore. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but for I'm real. I'm still in Paris. I just wanna say that that you're not the only one that got your phone stolen, cause Allie was having a rough time yeah. and she also uh, You don't have to go to Paris to get your phone stolen. You can just come to New Music Live, cause mine got swiped the other day. Amazing. Sorry. That was one of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, I feel bad for Allie. Everything's going from bad to worse for her. Hey Phoebe, do you think this horrible trip could be saved? <gasps> I can't wait to see this Parisian romance blossom as she's there because obviously mm -hmm. they're gonna fall madly in love. He's gonna whisk her to the top of the Eiffel Tower and propose to her. That's no, like I don't know if that's what's gonna happen, but finding love in Paris is so cliche, isn't okay. it? They had to cover this on Degrassi. It is like my dream, not to fall in love in Paris, but to bring like a guy I'm like in love with to Paris. Perfect situation, we'll take selfies in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. We'll have, you know on Lady in the Trap when they have a spaghetti and they're like, Okay, spaghetti's Italian, so that's not what you're gonna that do when you go to Paris. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go buy one of these babies in Paris. It's Whoa. called a baguette. And you're gonna break it in half. And you're gonna be like, hey lover, have some bread. And you're Here literally gonna go. sit in the park like this. You've been to Paris, obviously. If you know exactly, look at you. You this look is like what you're there. Okay, I've been to been. Paris. I've been to Paris okay. once for 48 hours. Lauren. And you think it's like, you think it's a joke that people walk around with berets and drink wine and eat baguettes like I just did, but that's what people actually do. Like sitting in a park? <laughs> sitting yes. in a park. Yes. You live on bread and wine. Who wouldn't love that? I don't know. Carbs and sugar! Yeah. Oh, I smell a golden globe in your future. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very traumatic. Yes. Welcome back to After Degrassi. We are just having a blast. How are you guys? All right, I'm Lyle. A blast. Yes, Lyle's almost on his way out. Lyle the top will be here, who plays Tristan. But let's uh, we got some more talk teeth. about this girl in the show who everyone's sort of she's rubbing everyone the wrong way. All right, let's do some audience questions because we got so many amazing fans here. They want to talk to you. Who's up first? Introduce yourself. Hi. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. And so you tweeted the fact that Melinda Shankar's hips successfully predict the weather every week and that it still freaks you out. Tell me, tell us about this. <laughs> Melinda Shankar's hips are disgusting. No, okay, basically this is what it is. She pops her hips and she like comes up to you and like pops her knuckles on your head and like, like cracks them, you the know. first time I met her, she goes, here, put your hand on my hip. I'm like, okay. And then she's like, you feel that? That's like my hip popping. And I was like, ew. <laughs> Um, but what happens is when it's going to rain, her hips start getting really achy and they start popping and like it will what? actually rain. She'll be like, it's gonna rain, like give it an hour, it will rain and it will rain an hour. I'm not kidding. Whoa. Every single time it will rain when she says it's gonna rain and it's cause her hips pop. So she's popping and locking, making it rain? What the heck? I think, <laughs> I think it's actually to do with like science or something. Because, well, it like, must be something in the air. Yeah, That's like so it works. That's so funny. But, uh, Tristan is straight tripping. Who does he think he's fooling, yo? No Plus, one. I don't get, like, everyone at Degrassi knows he's openly gay, so I don't understand what he's fooled? trying to You're hide. Were you guys quiet. Were you fooled? No. No. Uh, I'm, all, I'm going solo Whoa. here. MBD. Back yourself. Look, we know Connor has Asperger's. He says inappropriate things all the time. It's expected. And to be honest, when I watched that, I laughed. I'm glad I don't have cancer either, and it's just obvious. Yeah. Okay. Next. <laughs> anyway. Next. Next, next. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. Put your paddles up. Everyone at home, put your imaginary OMG paddles up. Or OMG or MVD? OMG across the board. No way, it's OMG across the board. Okay. Yeah, no, no, well, no. Almost. We Consensus. can see everyone. Okay. I'm also OMG. What are you? I am OMG as well. Now, why are you OMG? I OMG. I'm OMG because I would never want to kiss my gay guy friend because I wouldn't want to kiss anyone that I wasn't. A I wouldn't want to kiss you. I know you're not. I just wouldn't want to kiss someone that uh, I have am. kissed. She kissed me at the MMVAs on the red carpet. You want to kiss me? Oh my God. I'm <laughs> OMG. I'm OMG what? because I want to do that with my gay boyfriends and they don't, they won't let me kiss them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Miles having his shirt off, OMG or NBD? You know what? They're all saying OMG, but I say NB 
DVD because we already saw it once in the episode tonight. Uh, we better see it again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you guys are OMG, right? Sorry, we forgot to ask. I was so excited. Yeah. Why do I have a feeling Miles is gay? Oh. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was alluding to earlier. I, I hope that's the storyline. I don't know why they're having these feelings. But um, I know in the read through, a lot of people kind of had those feelings. Okay, so, so my I'm not, I'm not doing senses. anything. I'm not telling you. My spidey senses are on the right track. Yeah, I, think. I feel to that twinkle. That's because I have sense. good gaydar. Don't know if you knew that. <laughs> okay.